Creator's Child presents the Devi's Gift. We were talking to and healing a student who had suffered a tragic loss. She was in USA and we were in India. During the healing, we noticed that there was a figure behind her, a figure of light. As we looked closer, it coalesced into a many-armed being that was riding a tiger. The Devi indicated to us that it wanted to give a gift to the student. And it placed a red flower on the student's thigh. Without telling the student who was placing the gift or telling her what the gift was like, we just told her that a gift had been placed on her lap and she needed to feel it and to claim it. It took a few seconds and then the student says, yes, I can feel it. We then asked the student, but what is the gift like? And the student answered, the gift is red in color. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's red in color. We were delighted and she was delighted too. For it was a gift that would prove very reassuring and strengthening through the difficult times she and her family was going through. Now it is not just a gift for a student. It is a gift for each and every one of us. What do you mean, you may say? Well, the truth is, many of us across the world worship or connect to many divine beings. But at the end of the day, very often many of us wonder, hey, are we just kneeling before plaster of Paris? Are we just getting lost in some myths that some ancient human cooked up? And so the great gift is the great reassurances, the divine Israel, and by extension, each of us is more, each of us is deathless, is immortal, is cared for, is guided. As we talked to the Devi a little further, we asked two questions, and the first was, why a red gift? For many of us today associate red with bloodshed, with traffic signals saying stop, there's danger ahead. And she smiled and said, red is vitality. Red also represents the many secrets and gifts hidden in your blood. And she smiled at the next question, which was, well, what is all this God and goddesses stuff? Why are there so many divine beings and divine presences? And she smiled and said, from the cosmic oneness comes a great array of beings and universes at many levels. We who stand in the light, brilliant in the light, often take great joy in reaching out to you, our children, to remind you that you are not abandoned, to remind you that you too are beings of light. And that is such a glorious promise. Thank you for subscribing to our channel, visiting creativechild.com and growing with God.